In this video, we're going to talk about what a no code app tech stack is and how to choose one for your application so that you can build a completely customized and robust app based on your own needs, your own goals, and your own target market, and so on. And make sure you stick around until the end because we're actually going to go through an example of how to build out a tech stack. And it's really important that you understand how this works so that you can make the absolute most out of your app's development. Now, first, if you're new around here, my name is Kristen, and I'm the co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help business owners and industry experts build custom apps to either start their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding and with no technical background required. Now, first, what is a tech stack? Well, it's really pretty simple. It's just a way of talking about the different tools or platforms you use in order to build your application. Now, a lot of people, they think that they're only going to use one specific platform to build their app. And if this is the route you're going down or this is the path you're going down, that's a little bit limiting. Instead, what you wanna do is think about stacking tools on top of one another. So you choose a no-code app development platform to build the core of your app. And then you can think about stacking on third-party services to add extra features and functionality. Because if you integrate with third-party services, it enables you to build a more robust app without having to build everything out from scratch on your own. So it allows you to build an app much more quickly. And there are tons of platforms and services and tools that you can stack on top of that app development platform you're using to, to just help you overall with your development. So what I want to do is switch over to our whiteboard here, and we're going to go through this a little bit. And I want to go through some examples with you so that you can understand how to effectively create or decide on your own tech stack. Now, what this essentially looks like is first, again, you're going to choose that no code app development platform that you want to build the hub of your application on. So for example, we really like using bubble, bubble.io. And so we would put bubble at the base of our tech stack. And this is where we would be building the core functionality of our app itself. Now, when you start to expand upon the core functionality of your app, you start to add more features, more functionality. You don't necess necessarily need to build everything from scratch every single time. And we're going to talk more about this in a minute, about how to decide when to build from scratch and when to maybe add on to your tech stack. But essentially, what happens is you use third-party services or other tools and you just add them on top of that core of your app. So we're looking at things like payment gateways, for example, any type of tool that can add a feature or a functionality to your app, where you essentially just take the hub of your app, you connect it to this service, and now you have stacked additional features and functionality, additional tools on top of that base layer. So right here, we're going to look at services. Now you can take this even more in depth and even further by adding on top of that as well. Now, as you grow and expand your app, you can consistently add on more third-party services. You can add more to your tech stack, more tools, but you can also extend the, the internal systems too, if you want to think about it that way. You can either extend the services by adding more on top, or you know, as your business grows, when you launch your app and you start growing, growing it as a business, 
you're going to have operations to run internally as well. And so you can even add to your tech stack for those internal operations too. And see, so you sort of just build continuously upon your tech stack as you build your app, as you grow your app, as you scale your app. And so this sort of makes up your tech stack. Now I wanna get specific here. So we're gonna go through an example. Okay, let's say we are building a job board application and we want to let companies post jobs and applicants apply for jobs. And we are going to build the core of that or the hub on Bubble. Okay, so we have our job platform and we're building this on Bubble. So Bubble is at the hub or the, the, that base layer of our tech stack. And this is essentially where you build the functionality to allow users to sign up for the app, to register for the app, to create accounts, to create the company dashboards, the applicant dashboards, to allow companies to post jobs and to allow applicants to search for jobs, right? So we have that core functionality, the user creation, we're building out the database, uh, you know, things like that. So this is really the, the base layer of functionality that we need in order to have our job platform. Now, at a certain point, you're going to be asking yourself, okay, now you need additional features. You need to expand the app a little bit more. Do you connect with third-party services and add to your tech stack? Or do you start building extra features from scratch? Now, before we add to our tech stack on the screen here, I want to jump into that for just a minute. So generally speaking, we always try to not reinvent the wheel when possible. There, like I said, there are tons of third-party services out there that will allow you to expand your app. And these are out of the box solutions that you really don't have to do anything to. All you have to do is integrate them with your app via a plugin or an API, and the functionality is there for you. You might have to add a little bit of customization, but the workload on your end is really minimal. So if you need things like a, a booking functionality, for example, do you have to build it from scratch? Well, you could, but if you just need something pretty basic, and you can find really easily an out of the box solution that offers it for you, then we generally try to go for that out of the box solution because it makes it so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you add a new feature, because that's just gonna extend your time frame. It gives you more to maintain and manage and build when you just don't really need to. Now, on the flip side, sometimes it's better for you to build from scratch. And usually that's when you have something that needs a lot more customization, that's a lot more complex, and that you can't necessarily find a quick out of the box solution for. So if you need a booking system that is really custom to your specific app and you can't find a third party service that offers exactly what you want and you don't want to compromise, well, then you can build that from scratch. OK, so that's sort of a, a little aside on how to decide when to add to your tech stack and when to just build more features. OK, but Regardless, you're still always going to be adding to this stack. Okay, so back to our job platform. We have that core functionality at the bottom. Now let's say that we have some additional features that we want to add aside from that core functionality. And these are some third party services that we want to integrate with so that we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Now for our job platform, let's say that we want to have a Zoom integration, for example. We want to offer companies the ability to um, you know, connect with their applicant via Zoom without them having to email anything over or um, you know, set it up outside of the app, that kind of thing. So we'd be adding this Zoom integration or Zoom to our tech stack. And let's say that Again, we need a booking feature. 
we want to allow the applicants to schedule their interviews from within the app itself. So let's say we add a Calendly integration or an Acuity integration or some sort of a calendar integration. And then let's say we want to uh, have a custom uh, payment option and we don't want to build everything from scratch. So maybe we add a pay kickstart integration. And this handles all of our checkouts uh, and, and that type of thing. Because maybe we have a system where companies can buy different tiers of packages for the types of jobs they can post and that sort of thing. And so this just handles all of the heavy lifting for us. So again, we have our app at the very bottom and that's on Bubble. So Bubble is at the bottom of our tech stack. And then we're layering some services on top of that. And, and this, you can do go tons of different ways with this, right? This is just a really simple example. And then we're gonna take it a step further. Let's say that we want to expand on these. So we're gonna extend these services or just our existing functionality here. So let's say that at a certain point, we grow this app and this business where we now want to offer really robust, uh, much higher level services to companies. So instead of just having companies come on as individual users, we're now going to really big companies and we're partnering with them and they have to go through a really big sales process and, and that kind of thing. So let's say we set up an active campaign connection that also goes within our app and it also handles our internal services and it allows us to have a pipeline that tracks when these companies are going through demos of the app when these companies become users of the app. And it allows us to track their progress and to send them automated emails and to take them through our pipeline and, and all of that. Okay, so we're just adding on top of it now. And let's say as we grow, we start looking outside of just these features and we wanna start doing some more Say, uh, marketing funnels and advertising and things like that. So let's say we integrate with ClickFunnels and we are, we're starting to run ads to our ClickFunnels pages. And this is essentially where, you know, we, we bring new leads in or new potential users onto landing pages. And we kind of take them through certain steps to get them interested in the app or maybe interested in scheduling one of those sales calls. And it guides them through kind of our, our sales funnel or essentially brings them from being a potential user, ideally to a paying user. Okay, so we're just taking, again, that core platform and we're adding on top of it more and more. Now, in, in the traditional sense, when you're looking at a tech stack, you're really looking at uh, what most people are talking about are... Um, the, the more technical tools, like if you were to use Bubble and then you were to use another platform to wrap your app, if you wanted to put it into app stores, uh, things like that. But we're looking at this in a little bit different of a lens because I think it's more helpful to consider your app being kind of stacked in this way where number one, you don't have to bear the brunt of all of this development. And number two, you also don't have to bear the brunt of the maintenance of it all. But, but it really just allows you to move a lot more quickly with your app than you ever otherwise could because you're just taking advantage of other resources available to you. Now, over time, you can actually continue stacking on top and you can even bring your stack wider okay so you can go both ways so let's say down here where you have your app let's say you you have a another app development platform again maybe 
uh, like the, the wrapping example where you want to wrap your app, which is essentially where you take a web app and you make it so that you can put it into app store. So it becomes a hybrid app. And we have another video on that if you're interested in watching, but let's say that you're adding now a, a platform that allows you to wrap your app. Well, you can kind of extend your tech stack outwards in that way. It's still kind of at the base where you're taking the core functionality, you're transitioning it in this example. So we're just expanding outwards. And the same is true with your features. You can continue adding to your stack outwards in the services level, right? This middle level. And you can do the same here. And, and really, as your app grows and as your business grows, you'll just continue further. And at the end, you'll have a really robust app that doesn't take nearly as much maintenance as it otherwise could. You have, you know, when you are integrating with outside services, you're adding these to your tech stack. Aside from the advantages that we've already talked about, one of the really big benefits that you get is, again, you don't have to maintain it. But not only that, these platforms or these services, they usually offer one specific service. And so they're really good at it and they'll continue to evolve that one specific service. So you can generally assume that when you connect, that service that you're connecting with is going to continuously be updated and upgraded and improved. And so your business and it can grow alongside all of these tools that you are adding to your stack. Now, again, it's important to understand how this all comes together because you need to know that you don't have to bear the brunt when it comes to your app's development. You don't have to build everything from scratch and we don't advise it only build the things that you that you need to obviously build the core functionality of your app but when when it makes sense to add to your tech stack to use other tools uh, maybe you want to use another tool to build a really quick landing page for example maybe you want to use another tool to build a a blog things like that where you don't have to reinvent the wheel you don't have to figure out how to do it on your own you can just use another service connect everything up and go from there. So you don't have to bear the brunt and you can move so quickly with your app. You can grow and scale and expand that app so incredibly quickly by just expanding on this stack. So that's how we like to look at it. And that's what we found to be the most helpful way to sort of envision how your app is going to grow and evolve and how you're going to be able to maintain it over time. So I hope that's helpful for you. And if you want to get started with your app today, with your no-code app, or if you have already started building it, but you want to make sure you're going in the right direction so that you don't have to backtrack or waste time later on. We actually have a free 75 minute workshop and it takes you through some step-by-step -step strategy, both for some technical components that you'll need to consider and also just strategic components of planning your app and make sure, making sure you're just headed in the right direction. If you wanna sign up for that, it's free to join. You can head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop and either get started with your app today or make sure you're heading forward in the right direction. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that was helpful and we'll see you in the next one.